SpaceX is currently developing its next rocket, Starship, down in Boca Chica, Texas. Starship is the vehicle that the company's CEO Elon Musk intended to use to take humanity to Mars and to return humans to the surface of the moon as the lunar lander for the Artemis program. But to move to orbital launches the rocket prototypes will need as many as 39 Raptor engines each, necessitating a sharp ramp in engine production. However, the company is having trouble with the production of its Raptor engine, a full-flow staged combustion methane-fueled engine. The production issues have become pronounced as Musk outlined in a recent email to SpaceX employees. On Black Friday, Musk sent an anxious email to his company's employees urging them to work over the weekend on SpaceX's Raptor engine line and describing the production situation as a crisis. According to the email, Musk says SpaceX could face a genuine risk of bankruptcy if Raptor engine production is not enough to handle frequent Starship flights. Musk's email came shortly after Will Heltsley, SpaceX's vice president of propulsion, left the company. Heltsley had been taken off Raptor development before he left, with Musk noting in his email that the company's leadership has been digging into the program's problems since then and discovering the circumstances to be far more severe than Musk previously thought. Less than two weeks ago, Musk said during a virtual conference that SpaceX is currently hoping to conduct Starship's first orbital launch as early as January 2022. The first orbital flight uh, we're hoping to do in, in January. He also added that he was hoping for up to a dozen test flights of Starship in 2022 before launching real payloads in 2023. However, according to Musk's email, SpaceX needs to launch Starship at least once every two weeks next year to keep the company afloat. And apparently, Raptor engine development isn't on track at the moment. I was going to take this weekend off as my first weekend off in a long time, but instead I will be on the Raptor line all night and through the weekend," Musk wrote in the email. He also urged employees to come in for an all-hands-on-deck situation unless they had critical family matters or could not physically return to Hawthorne, the location of SpaceX's headquarters in California. While Starship will ultimately be used to transport people to deep space, Musk also stressed the vehicle's role in launching the company's next-generation Starlink satellites. Starlink is SpaceX's ambitious initiative to launch a mega-constellation of nearly 42,000 satellites to provide broadband internet coverage to users all over the Earth. So far, SpaceX has launched more than 1,800 Starlink satellites and is currently serving roughly 140,000 users in more than 20 countries. However, SpaceX has only launched the first version of its Starlink satellites, known as version 1. Most of those satellites don't have lasers allowing them to communicate with one another, though recent launches have included this capability. Eventually, SpaceX plans to launch its version 2 satellites, which are much more massive and will include laser communication. And per his email, Musk claims that Starship is the only rocket that can launch these larger satellites. SpaceX and Musk didn't directly confirm the veracity of the leaked email, but when a Twitter user asked, how is the Raptor thing going, Musk responded briefly, it's getting fixed. According to Musk, Starship development is at least 90% internally funded thus far, with the company not assuming any international collaboration or external funding. Well, we're not assuming uh, any, any inter international collaboration. Uh, we're building this thing right now. Um, and we're, uh, we're really um, building it from internal funds. There's, NASA is providing some support uh, because uh, they'll, they intend to use Starship for uh, transporting astronauts to, to the surface of the moon. But this has really been an internally funded uh, effort. And in a recent tweet, he mentioned that bankruptcy is unlikely, but not impossible if a severe global recession hits. This isn't the first time Musk has warned his employees that if they don't rally and work long hours, the company will go bankrupt. In 2018, Musk claimed that his other company, Tesla, came within single-digit weeks of collapse over problems with the production of the Model 3 electric vehicle. Since then, Tesla has rebounded and recently surpassed a $1 trillion valuation. If SpaceX does end up on the brink of bankruptcy, it wouldn't be the first time. Musk famously stared down financial ruin before SpaceX managed its first successful launch of a Falcon 1 rocket. So, do you think SpaceX will be able to fix the Raptor production issues and achieve Elon Musk's goal of extending life to Mars and beyond? Let us know in the comments section. Also, do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more SpaceX-related content. And as always, thanks for watching.